Uh, today uh, I'll be wearing a uh, rather social work hat, but uh, I'm professor of education and social work. So, uh, but uh, first, a uh, few words about the uh, Global Development Institute. We are think and do uh, institute, uh, which means uh, we are uh, reflecting upon uh, integration politics, education politics, welfare politics, or social politics. Uh, we're doing research, consulting policy makers, government, uh, or, or uh, executive branch of power. And uh, thinking and doing is probably probably the most uh, precise uh, description of what... But um, refugee youth are so resilient. Uh, we can learn from them so, so much. So and with some personal introduction, I'm by myself a migrant and in certain cultures I would be called a youth migrant but don't you think that especially if you consider the theory of transnationalism that the liminal phase for most of the migrants lasts uh, forever until yes forever until so they are going to the journey where they they the only uh, aim was to run away but where you don't know where so this is the concept, so to help to construct where the person would want to end or where he would feel at least comfortable or at least he would feel safe. This would be something that will help because otherwise he would end up in the liminal phase, he just ran and where. That's, that's the idea. You use the term assimilation, but you recommend to migrants like Latvia to go to the assimilation process. No, it's a, it was used as the as uh, as the um, the example on how the dominant discourses the these ideas, for example, there is an idea assimilation, or the idea you should stop uh, doing drugs in one day, or the idea you should be successful, and that's it. So you, you cross the border and now you need to assimilate. Now you need to just in one day become another person. Now you need, for example, leave the abusive relationships and forget about the, abuse, the partner who has abused you. And you so uh, this is what the modern world is actually asking us to do in certain con concepts. And if we do not resist those voices that are uh, surrounding us, then I think that Assimilation process it might be very violent towards a, a, a migrant, migrant, immigrant, refugee, anyone. Man mamma ir Krimas tātāriete, tēvs man ir latvietis, es esmu dzimusi Turkmenistānā nebudagā. Uzskatu sev pa Latvijas pilsoni un valsti atbildu par patvēruma meklētāju Latviešu valodas mācīšanu. And she is responsible in the country for teaching Latvian to the uh, refugees and asylum seekers. Strādājot ar cilvēkiem no dažādām valstīm, mēs esam sapratuši, ka vislielākā problēma ir tā, ka cilvēks vienkārši kautrējas runā. Tā ir lielākā problēma, ka cilvēks baidās runā. Okay, okay. the question was uh, of how it is for, to teach a Muslim man. Is there any problems if she is as a teacher woman teaching mm -hmm. Latvian? Uh, nav nekādu problēmu, neviens neskatās nekā jūs esat tā ķērta. Ja jūs uh, viņi uz skolotāju skatās, kā es vienmēr saku saviem pedagogiem, ja šeit sēz viena no pedagogiem, kura pateica, ka tā ir, un redzat arī viņas matu krāsu un ģēršanās silu, ja jūs gribat pabūt Dieva kārtā, tad ejat pastrādājiet, jūs jums skatās kā uz Dievu. And if you want to feel like a god, just go uh, and um... Be a teacher because you are look like a god. For example, there's a no person who's teaching language, and look at her, she has the hair and stuff. And but she's still like it's the respect of a teacher. You know, you don't have a lot of friends, and you are always uh, with international students. It's not bad, but you know, international students they all live in six months or in one year because they're coming from. Erasmus exchange, they are having fun with you, then they are living. Then you are again staying and looking for another international student. Like if you are living in this society, you should uh, respect the society. This is the first rule. Because they open their door, they welcome you, and uh, you are studying here. And uh, this is your uh, 
you are obliged to to respect to do whatever you can for this country because this is the duty of Muslims. I think that there are two two sides of uh, violent extremism, this is internal and external. If it, again, uh, there is a feeling of non-belongingness because you are living here, you are third generation, second generation in a new country, uh, you are not sure what is your identity and you don't know where you belong. Again, you haven't decided in your mind what's your values, what is your role in this society, in this world. In the same of feeling of alienation because of some reasons uh, you are excluded from society or from some groups, you know. And uh, then obviously you feel helpless. Uh, there, the, there is one another thing is psychological disorder uh, from zero to hero. You, know, you want to be a hero when you are zero, you know. And therefore, such uh, extreme groups are very attractive uh, for those vulnerable people. As an external factors, uh, I, I would like to mention uh, the propaganda of violent extremism is very high. Uh, and also the, the other tools of propaganda kind of, you know, they are all in, in social networks, they are all in, in, in on internet. And using all those uh, uh, chatting instruments to, to hire people, to recruit people. One of the methods of recruitment is maybe you have seen a video where one of the ISIS members is uh, uh, declaring that, oh Europe, you should accept these refugees, then we will use these refugees, you know. Like, we will take advantage of them and we will forward them, you know. I think uh, this is kind of uh, putting Europe to a situation that, okay, we will not accept the refugees and these refugees will come back because there is no way they will come back again that, uh, to, uh, to where they were and there will be very, very easy uh, targets uh, to recruitment. Theological discourse, it's proved that, and it's clear in everywhere that theologically it's not allowed and it's, uh, it's condemned and uh, this is no way to, to such a group, uh, self proclamate uh, states and uh, to those uh, different uh, establishments. And also, uh, I think we should discuss violent extremism with Muslim communities as well. I don't know how in, in other European countries, but I'm, I'm talking about Latvia. And uh, in Latvia, if you are going to deal with uh, violent extremism uh, despite the percentage are not very big now, but uh, it's not means that uh, we, we should forget about this. I think we should discuss it with Muslim communities living in Latvia and take their opinion and involve them into this job because 99% uh, of Muslim communities, they are agree and uh, we are agree that terrorism is and uh, extremism is our common trait. And also uh, empowering the immigrant advocates, activists. Uh, I told you before, what I'm doing now is uh, advocating for third country nationals to, to find themselves in society. Yes, we are living in a global village, but we, we went far uh, in the sense of understanding each other. Uh, learning other cultures, it means to learn your culture, I think, because uh, in my experience, while I was learning in other cultures, I start to understand my culture better because uh, what is the difference, you know? You see the difference and you see the commonalities. And to engage in a fruitful dialogue, then you use these common points and you become together in these common points which unites us. We, we need many people in our societies with social capital. As yesterday the lecture told, social capital and especially with care and uh, who are ready to teach their language and their culture and uh, they are ready to invite them the foreigners as you call them the others or the newcomers or the guests whatever you call uh, we need more people who will be welcoming them and who will be uh, ready to invite them invite them uh, to participate, invite them to, to show up, invite them to discuss 
uh, about the society because they are a potential uh, members of the society if they are not yet. And these youth are with clear mind, they are very open to uh, intercultural competence and uh, to love each other without prejudice. Without. Thank you.